Hi guys, how are you? In today's video, I am going to be doing an update on my copy of Wreck This Journal, Now in Color. In this video, I will be showing you all of the pages that I have completed since the last time I posted a video on this book. The first page tells you to add your own page numbers, and I never decorated this page, so I decided to just put some random numbers all over the page. I did start numbering the pages a long time ago, but I just never did anything on the page. And then the big four, two, and one I drew and colored, but all of the other ones are just random stickers I had. Another page I did tells you to press leaves into other found things, but I crossed out leaves and circled found things. And then in parentheses I wrote from concerts because I was cleaning my room the other night and I found a bunch of things that are from concerts and shows I saw a while ago when concerts and shows were still a thing. You know, pre-COVID stuff. This is how the page looks. These aren't from every concert I've ever been to. A lot of my other tickets are in other scrapbooks or journals. But there is the top of the page with the prompt. And then on this page, I have my ticket from when I saw Miranda Sings, The Monkees, um, an Elf musical, one of my 21 Pilots tickets, a Peter Pan performance, um, when I went to see Dan and Phil's show with my sister. If you don't know who Dan and Phil are, they're YouTubers. And then confetti from a Taylor Swift concert I was at. And I believe that wristband is from when I went to see Mika in New York City. That was in a club and the tickets were like digital and then they put a um, wristband on you. I believe that that's what that's from. This next page said, scribble wildly, violently with reckless abandon. If you have seen my videos about my other reckless journals, you would know that it has become a tradition for me to draw a Disney character and then scribble in their hair, so that's what I did on this page. Unlike the other Reckless Journals where the pages are white, this one had pink pages, so I was inspired to draw Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and as you can tell, I like scribbled her hair in, but I still wanted the page to look nice. I didn't want to just scribble all over the whole page. This next page is one that I really like. I think it turned out super cute. And it said to climb up high and drop the journal. The prompt is written in this blue colored arrow. And then the page next to it is like this mustard yellow. So I was inspired to draw Winnie the Pooh floating away on a balloon based on the color of the page. But look how cute he is. I drew him on separate paper colored him in with alcohol-based markers, cut him out, and glued him in. But I think he looks super cute. This is a page I actually did a while ago. I did this over the summer while I was at camp with my family. But the page says, place sticky things here. Then it gives examples of honey, gum, syrup, glue, a sucker, or marshmallows. And since it said marshmallow and I was at camp, I thought of s'mores, because we were making s'mores. Here is how the page looks. I did draw a picture of a s'more and put it there. And what I did was when I had an actual s'more, I sat it on the page and I think I took a picture of it. If I still have the picture, I'll put it here. I didn't actually rub it all over the book because I didn't want my book to get moldy. So I just stuck in that drawing of a s'more. I had so much fun doing this next page. It said to pretend you are doodling on the back of an envelope while on the phone. And the page looks like an envelope. Here is what the page looks like. The prompt is on this blue page and it's written on what looks like a stamp. And the page itself looks like an envelope. But I had a lot of fun doing this because all of these are actually stickers that were blank and I got to color. So like this one was just shaped like a TV and I drew the TV and colored it in. That one was a cup with a straw. I turned it into an iced caramel macchiato. That one was shaped like cherries and I colored it in. That one was just a circle. I made it a donut. 
Um, that one was a bumblebee and a flower, piece of candy. That was just a bag, and I made it the starfish in the bag from Finding Nemo. And those ones were shaped like stars. The stickers are from this really, really cool book that one of the children I watch gave to me. And it is called Sketch Your Sticker. And they're all plain stickers of all different shapes that you get to design in color. I don't know if you can tell because they're literally just white and you peel them off and color them or color them and peel them off, but it is so much fun. The next page said to rub dirt here. This is what I did for the page. I rubbed, it's not actually dirt, it's eyeshadow that was expired and I had to throw away because it was getting funky. So I rubbed eyeshadow there and then I drew the dessert dirt. If you had a cool childhood like I did, you know what dirt is. It was usually served at kids birthday parties um, and it was a cup of chocolate pudding with crushed up Oreos and a few gummy worms on top. Not gonna lie, I would totally still make and eat dirt. Now I kind of really want to. This page tells you to glue random items here, and that is what I did. I literally just stuck so many random things on this page. They are things that I was saving to use in journals, and some of them are things I've had for years and haven't done anything with yet, so they went onto this page. Here is how it looks. The only thing on the page was the red arrow with the prompt on it. And then over here I have a business card from a saltwater taffy shop in Ocean City, some random stickers, a little ticket that I don't know what it was from anymore, the cozy from a cup of coffee from one of my favorite coffee shops, a Starbucks thing that was from a Starbucks gift card. A fortune from a fortune cookie, a little cutout of Ariel, a sticker of Daryl from The Walking Dead that my sister actually designed and made, some photo booth pictures of me and my friend from a wedding that happened like years and years ago, random candy cane cutout thing that I had, some googly eyes that I turned into a monster, and of course a sticker of Harry Styles because I mean, look at them. <laughs> this next page smells amazing. I just opened to the page and I was like, it smells so good. Okay, anyway, the page says, infuse this page with a smell of your choosing. I have some candles from the Magic Candle Company. This is a little card that came with the candles. I put it like that so I can see both sides of it. But what they are, are candles that smell like parts of Disney World. If you've ever been to Disney World, you know that like every section of Disney World or ride of Disney has its own smell. And this candle company makes candles that smell like it. I rubbed some of the candle wax on this page from the Art of Animation candle. It smells like the lobby of the resort my family likes to stay at when we go to Disney World. And it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells amazing. And the last page I have to show you in this video says to give away your favorite page. Here is what I ended up doing. The pages were this really pretty shade of blue. And I wrote, no, it's mine. And I drew a seagull from Finding Nemo screaming, mine, mine. Um, yeah, because sometimes when I do reckless journals, I do give a page away. This time, I don't want to. Those were all of the pages that I have done since the last video about this book. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It just really helps my channel out. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces, and I will see you next time. Bye!